All right, Butcher, Tassadar, Illidan, Artanas, and Li Ming against Artanas, Abathur, Gul'dan, Ariel, ETC. A little bit strange. Is this a zero death game? Um, if if I get zero deaths here, I will give away five Falstaff Stormly uh, Stormlord skins after this. Wait, that's a... Is, is that... Well, I think that's a bonus. It's something to get excited for. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try a zero death game. And uh, I think you'll be hoping for me <laughs> to be ach achieve this lofty goal. Grubby, please AFK in base. <laughs> yeah, I've only got fast start skins right now. I'm gonna go for uh, a build that I just updated on the Butcher. It's the uh, DPS Mobility. I need to look it up myself. Mobile DPS. I think it goes with Vittles. Or maybe Block is more valuable. Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm mostly gonna get the same build, but I'll go for Block. For the rest, it's Mobile DPS. No, Artanis! Got him. Uh, the giveaways are going to continue to occur over the night. Matkas. And over the next week. That makes no sense, Soul World Man. If they were greedy, there would be no skins to give away. Zero death still. <laughs> Greetings, friend. Hey, for the fun, thank you for the two months. Resub! Welcome back. If I die more than 10 times, I would give away 10 skins. No, oh, how about this? I give away. Delete the previous offer. I will give away half a skin per death. And if it's zero, it's five. Okay, no delete. Half a skin per death, and, and zero is five. That's fair, I think. But that will be the last giveaway of the night. Half a skin per death. Rounding, rounding uh, up. I'll get flail X. Oh, kill confirmed. A valiant strike. When you click on the ground, I see red and green. Mine is always green. Aha, you need to use attack move, Mr. Cynic. Greetings, friend. That way, you will have a red marker and you will attack anything that comes into your path. It is a more reliable way of moving around than. Uh, Moving. Moving will occasionally get you to try and move through people. Which will get you killed. Maybe I just get fountain is better. And then I go top. First mid, then top. Vizzle TV, thank you for the seven month resub. Welcome back, dude. I 
Uh, round it up. If I die five times, it's two and a half skins. It will be three. Looks good. Artana's dead it. Um, I said mobility DPS. I get Avatar. If I die zero times, it'll be the same as 10, five skins. No five skins, unless I go to 10. <sighs> maybe, maybe my position, my uh, game understanding really abandoned me there. Because they just finished bottom immortal and then I find myself near enemy gates in middle. Of course they're gonna be there. I did not do that on purpose. 700 death game. I don't know why I butcher brand him when I have no damage on me. So bad. Greetings, friend. Alright, we need to we need to learn. Jeep Burger. You have just increased your chances to win a Falstaff Stormlord skin by fivefold by subscribing to my stream it has been proven to work thank you very much immortals on shrines grub giggle okay punishers i'm getting my fresh meat stacks back I just got body blocked by minion, that was weird. I wanna wait for Artanas to engage. He's the biggest uh, sponge of our team. I prefer not to go through ETC either. Alright, I'm playing smarter now. Even ETC is easy peasy meat to carve. So long as I got game. Lamb to the slaughter. Man, I realized that I have cl had my eyes closed for much of my life. Greetings, friend. For much of my Heroes of the Storm playing life. To actually wait for Artanis. As ridiculous as it may seem, was an epiphany moment for me as Butcher. Of course you should not jump in first. And how often have I had a little grub giggle at other people who jump in first as the melee assassin. And yet, to think about it and then to do it, was a uh, eye-opening moment for me. <laughs> Thank you, DRC Anubis. You guys are really sweet tonight thank you for subbing man Greetings, friend. wow Kofo look thank you very much for subscribing looks like uh, I can't really push in for too much longer here it's a uh, basically we're a person down because uh, Illidan is doing merc camp and they have Abathur hat I'm at one death so far. Okay. I was just wanting to see if he would push the lane deep, and he did. Mm. 
Are they all down here? I was thinking of taking their Fallen Shaman, but the value of backdooring the enemy Fallen Shaman really isn't that high. It's better just to join the team and fight. I'll focus the support. Mega lol. That ETC did almost nothing to peel. Lol. So I told you guys I'm gonna go for DPS support. Uh, DP, uh, mobile DPS. Sorry, mobile DPS. And uh, the way... First, thank you very much, Yo-Yo Pojo, for subscribing. Really, really appreciate it. So many subs. So, let me explain the build a little bit. Flail Axe is to keep people in range. Having a longer range on my slowing hamstring will allow me to catch up to people. Makes me more sticky and more mobile by comparison. Block or Vittles is your survivability talent. I've taken that to be able to put out more damage over time. Because they have Artanis, I have taken Block. He's a pretty good auto attacker. Then I went for Abattoir. More damage per hit means more DPS. At level 10, Slaughterhouse. Locking an opponent down will give me positive mobility compared to them. At 13, I get Crave Flesh. It is a method of escape and of chase, which will make me have more mobility by comparison. I think he can ETC. Nice. Okay, cool. What FPS do you get? 60. Around 55 to 60. I'm gonna go get some mana. Maybe this regen globe as well. Nice. So the Cray Flesh can now be used to put it on someone and then have 30% bonus movement speed, get away. Or to chase someone so I get more value out of Butcher Brand. So I can uh, actually damage them and get my healing. So that is the uh, flexibility. And then at level 16, I could get bonus value from either Blood Frenzy, which is more damage, or Crippling Slam, which would give me more positive mobility compared to the opponent. I actually don't remember what I just picked in an isolated case for uh, my build. I got blinded. I was just doing the build in a quiet moment. I don't remember which one I chose. This is for the skins. For the skins. Uh, let's see what I picked. Butcher. I picked... I picked Blood Frenzy. Okay, that makes sense. I would get Blood Frenzy. Also, increase attack speed by 1%. So I could go for Crippling Slam, which would give me more positive mobility compared to the opponent, more relative mobility. But I've chosen not to do it. Instead going for bonus attack speed. I think both are defensible. But I already have more value out of Blood Frenzy. Due to having more meat stacks from Abattoir. level 16 
just get him. Oh, He's way too far forward. Yo, Grubstar, how you doing? Yo. My GF did see you at Gamescom. Unfortunately, I had to work the whole damn weekend. Anyway, see you in game, smiley face. You had to work the whole damn weekend. Nice. Yo, Grubs, how are you doing? My girlfriend did see you at Gamescom. Unfortunately, I had to work the whole da ah, damn weekend. Anyway, see you in game. Yeah, I'm doing really good. Gamescom was very uh, inspiring. It made me feel like playing lots of heroes that I hadn't felt like in a while, like Butcher, Gul'dan. That was really fun. Got to play Alarak, Zarya, Starcraft maps. Oh, the music on those Starcraft maps. Too bad you couldn't make it, Koro. Maybe next year. Last year was really cool, too. Why get attack speed if they have two heroes with blind? This is quick match. I did not pick Butcher into two blinding heroes. Butcher has nothing else except attack damage. So you might as well. I know how you feel like it's anti-synergy. But really, you just need to counterplay the blind. You're not gonna get some kind of mage Butcher build, if you know what I mean. At the most, I could get more damage on my Q, like cheap shot, which is... A decent point but I still feel even though I'm like countering their counter it'll be a weaker choice I think it's time to get out so am I GG well played using the Starcraft 1 theme song was really clever they did some reworks on the music too, but it was really good. How are you playing with no headphones? Uh, I have speakers and I have a directional microphone, which is called a microphone with cardioid patterns. Cardioid, which basically means it picks up what's in front more than something that, for instance, is above it. Um, that might still take a few months, Gojira. I don't want to do that yet. want to focus on Heroes and Warcraft for now. Arctanus is still dead, so we should definitely wait till we are both 5 people and have level 20. What do you think about the mount movement speed decrease? I think it's a really good change. As soon as I saw it, even before I knew it was real, because I actually didn't feel it at Gamescom, I immediately thought, Making mount speed 130% instead of 140% is a great change. It will decrease 5 man group ups. Now for the build that I'm doing, mobility DPS, the perfect one is Nexus Blade or Bolt. Because Nexus Blade slows opponents more, though it has some overlap with Q. And it offers more DPS, obviously. Bolt can really allow you to reposition, escape, and so on. But I'm actually going to go for Slaughterhouse. Because I think it's really fun. Now, if my team was in position, totally I would go for Slaughterhouse now. But I don't think it's good to chase that far, actually. Now, there's this Latin term called Ceteris Paribus, if all else remains the same, then, like, if it relatively remains the same, I welcome the mount speed change. But, if, if suddenly, we still, well, if, if all the talents actually literally remain the same and not relatively, then Wind Fury is suddenly going to be mount speed, which is a little bit weird and then Endless Creep is going to be above mount speed. So there do need to be a few talent adjustments to make this change normal. So that, that, that is the complicated one, I think. And it will not remove clearing your lane and then joining up with people. It will just reduce... Oh, I only got ETC. But, anyway, he's, he's, oh, he's not dead. <laughs> 500 damage a pop, not bad.
<laughs> Mega lol. We don't need the objective really. Anyone that goes back is just playing on automatic pilot. What we do need is this keep. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty nice uh, butcher build. I didn't really get to use my slaughterhouse. It was a potential big, big uh, silence on the group. With decent damage actually, 390. But yeah, I kind of misaimed it. Still, it was enough for a win. We kill ETC, took out their tank, mopped up the rest. I will say that we had an extremely advantageous composition against them. Tastadar is a great solo support under the right circumstances. And... We had three bruisers slash melee assassins against the mostly ranged team. Well, okay, not mostly ranged, it's 2-2. But let's just say they didn't have enough damage or burst to deal with either my or Illidan's self-sustain or Artanis's. Yeah, we were heavily favored in terms of the draft here. It also didn't help that they got monstrosity instead of ultimate evo. Possibly ultimate evo in Gul'dan could give them that little bit of damage that they needed. I still give Butcher only a fair 2 out of 5 because he does have some design problems. Uh, just a little bit, but mostly that can be keenly felt in high level Hero League. Not as much at this level or in quick match. That's a nice one. Archon Pokshan. He's gonna E me and it's gonna be the easiest E in the world. Mental acuity! Yes! Got him! <laughs>